Hi, Bob. Hi, Anna. Bob, have you heard that the code is changing, effective January 1, 2020, and will affect all newly constructed and altered commercial buildings? Yes, I did, but maybe they did not. Did you? If you haven't, don't worry. We can take you through the changes. Come with us. Multi-level lighting control section 130.1b. The intent here is to allow occupants to moderate light levels to save energy. However, in the 2019 code, healthcare facilities no longer need dimming. Shutoff controls section 130.1-c. The intent is to eliminate after-hours lighting waste. However, healthcare facilities in the 2019 code will no longer need time clock shutoff. Hello? Another change related to automatic shutoff is that public restrooms are now required to use occupancy sensors that shut the light full off when unoccupied. Last change to the automatic shutoff controls is with guest rooms and motels. The lights need to be turned off 20 minutes after the occupants leave the room. The receptacle timeout remains at 30 minutes. The automatic daylighting control code intent is to save lighting energy in daylight spaces. As part of the new code, you will now need a secondary daylighting row controlled separately when you have windows. Some small rooms might be exempt if the total window area is less than 24 square feet or if the total lighting power in the first daylighting row is less than 120 watts. The demand responsive control's intent is to keep the energy demand lower than supply. Therefore, there is a new requirement to the code to support open ADR 2.0a or 2.0b. There are exceptions to this requirement for buildings less than 10,000 square feet, spaces using less than 0 0.0 watts per square foot, and lighting not permitted to be reduced due to a health or life safety statute. The 2019 code also adds some new power adjustment factors that offer incentives for taking additional advantage of daylight. If you would like to take advantage of these incentives, please consult the table on page 227 of the Title 24, Part 6, Section 140.6A2. Now remember, if you are upgrading your lighting, you will need to bring your building up to code with the latest version of Title 24. This requirement is triggered if you are changing more than 10% of the fixtures. In some situations, you can skip daylight control, dimming and demand response. One, if you're swapping fixtures one for one, Two, you are below 80% of Title 24 2019's allowed lighting power density. Three, your space is less than 5,000 square feet and you reduce the energy consumption by 40%. We hope that we have helped you to shed some light on the 2019 code. For more details, contact your local expert, Western Lighting and Energy Controls, with more than 50 highly trained lighting and control professionals. They offer free service and support, including job site visits, quotations, easy ordering process, quick delivery, and customized educational programs. They can also help you with photometrics and complete Title 24 compliant designs and field service. If you have any questions or need help with your lighting projects, contact us and our friendly team of experts will be happy to assist you. Customer service at westernecs.com or call 858-564-0233. You can also visit our website at www.westernlightingandenergycontrols.com. Thanks for watching.